Hello, everyone. Well, as we get older, we make this decision that we are in a category that does not need or want to mix with younger people. And I think it's the complete opposite. I think that it's wonderful to, uh, to be part of the lives of younger people. So how can you be an older person that a younger person wants to be around, that wants to hang out? And I think that um, I had one story that I wanted to share, and then I'll give you some suggestions on things you can do. But I, about three or four years ago, I went on a cruise. It was called a Nomad Cruise, and it was organized by an amazing uh, group. And they and they basically got 250 people together on a ship. Yeah, it was pre-pandemic. And we actually sh sailed around the Mediterranean, had workshops and dances and conversations. And it was all for young entrepreneurs who wanted to get their, you know, their lives on track. It's still around. The group is still around. And they've changed their strategy because of the situation with travel. But um, anyway, I had such an amazing time. I was turning 70 at the time. And people were so kind and gentle and, and they really appreciated uh, what my experience and my life story and of course the creation of the business 60 and me which I has, had done so well with and you know, built a great community. Anyway, um, that was my um, re realization that I have a lot to share and a lot to learn from younger people. So what are some of the things you can do? First, look for, look for commonality. Look for things that you both enjoy doing. Photography, books, um, you know, favorite foods. Sa save your doctor talk for your peers. No chatting about your surgery, your knee or your hip replacement or whatever. Young people don't want to know that. And why should they? This is your challenge, your life. Inquire gently about their lives. Don't go charging in with questions about, you know, subtle things and personal things. Just ask them. Don't grill them. <laughs> and, and by the way, I'm talking now to older people, right? Older, older women. Just go gentle with the conversations and the prying. Don't try to grab too much. Listen more. Talk less. <laughs> Open and questions are best. Ask them and just listen. Just listen. You will learn so much. Keep responses neutral, supportive. Don't judge. Be a worthy confidant. Don't share your story, their stories. Listen what they have to say. Take it on. Give, you know, give whatever thoughts you might be asked to give, but just don't judge and be honest. Times have changed. These young people are digital nomads in the sense that they are digitally wired. That's how they were born. That's how they were educated. So don't struggle with technology. Do your best. You know, don't criticize social media. Don't say how, you know, in, you know, sort of superficial TikTok is or how, how difficult it is to work with F Facebook or whatever. Just accept and embrace that they are digital, um, you know, natives. They know their, this very well and learn. Ask questions and learn. Have the courage to join in with younger people. You've got a lot to offer. I'd like to know what some of the younger people here on TikTok think. What are some of the advice you give us? Older folks who want to communicate with you and share.